Hey there, lovely folks. So today, I want to dive deep into a topic that's always buzzing in the survivalist community. The foods that you absolutely shouldn't consider for long-term storage. Now, some of these might surprise you, because they're often recommended by many preppers. And believe me, I've done my homework, so I'm pretty confident in saying, nah, you might want to reconsider. Ready to uncover the 12 foods that aren't the best for your long-term stash? Let's get to it. But a heads up, when we reach number eight, some of you might want to send me an animated rant in my inbox. Brace yourselves, but remember, everything I'm sharing is meant to guide you in the right direction and help you make informed decisions. Before we dive in, I've got a quick favor to ask of you all. I'm curious to know, what foods do you personally avoid stockpiling? Drop your answers in the comments below. And if this video is helpful, give us a thumbs up. Now let's dive into those 12 foods. All right, first up, let's chat about oils. Think olive oil, vegetable oil, and the like. Now I love me some olive oil, but when it comes to long-term storage, uh-uh. You see, when oils are left to their own devices, they can become the victims of light and air, causing them to turn rancid. And trust me, you don't want to taste that. But beyond the off taste, rancid oils can be a sneaky health hazard. So, my advice? Steer clear of those jumbo jugs. Opt for smaller quantities, use them up, and then replenish. Your taste buds and health will thank you. Number two. So, we have nuts and seeds. Now, I've got a bit of a soft spot for almonds, but as a long-term storage option? Nope. Nuts might feel like they last forever, but in reality, they have a shelf life of about six months in their package. Pop them in the freezer, and you can stretch that to a year. But beyond that, you're just asking for them to go rancid. And seeds? Well, they're a tad better, but still not ideal for super long-term storage. Remember, these are nutrient-dense foods, and with that comes a susceptibility to spoilage. So enjoy them, but don't rely on them for your five-year apocalypse plan. 3. Flour Flour, as staple as it might seem, isn't a forever food. Left in your pantry in its bag, it's got about six months before it starts acting up. And while refrigerating or freezing might buy you another six months, that's pretty much it. So despite what every survival guide might scream, flour isn't the long-term storage hero we once thought it was. Stick with me, friends! We've got more to cover, but I promise, it's all in the spirit of making sure we're prepping smart and safe. 4. Spices. You know, the magic that makes our food dance with flavors. Particularly when it comes to ground spices, they can be quite the tricksters. At first glance, you'd think, ah, these will last an eternity. Well, not quite. Over time, their rich flavors just start to wane. Whole spices do have a better track record, but even they aren't immortal. After a year or two, they might leave you hanging in the flavor department. Picture this. You're in a survival situation, and you whip up a meal to boost morale, only to find your spices don't quite make the cut. Ouch. 5. Chocolate. Oh, dear sweet chocolate. As much as it breaks my heart to say this, chocolate just isn't in it for the long haul. Beyond the emotional comfort it offers, from a storage perspective, it's a bit finicky. Over time, it can spoil, and if you've ever seen chocolate turn whitish, you've witnessed it separating. Realistically, you've got about a year with it, and that's if you're being super optimistic. As tempting as it is, try not to hoard chocolate as if it's the last bar on Earth. 6. Popcorn. Especially the microwavable kind. Now, who doesn't love a good popcorn movie night? But here's the deal. Over time, those little kernels have this annoying habit of losing their inner moisture, and without that, they're less likely to give you that satisfying pop. And don't get me started on the butter and flavorings. They can turn on you and go rancid. It's a real party pooper when you settle in for a movie, only to find that your popcorn bag is more duds than pops, or has a funky odor once microwaved. Still with me? I hope so. Remember, it's all about ensuring that if we're stashing food away for a rainy day, we're doing it with the best choices possible. 6. Rice Cakes Oh, those lovely, crunchy, seemingly innocent snacks. As lightweight and delightful as they are, they're not exactly champions in the longevity department. Humidity is their arch nemesis. Before you know it, they can go from that perfect crunch to a sad, soft bite. And if you've ever bitten into a stale rice cake, you'll know it's like expecting a crisp apple and getting a soggy one. So, as a tip, if you're thinking of relying on them as an emergency bread substitute, Maybe have a plan B. 
Number seven, oh dear, the darling of many pantries, peanut butter. I can't deny its yum factor, but from a storage perspective, a bit tricky. Many preppers swear by it, but remember that peanut butter is oil rich. And what did we learn about oils? That's right, they can go rancid. While there are versions of dehydrated peanut butter with the oil extracted, which by the way is a solid option for long-term storage, our everyday jars of creamy or crunchy peanut butter are ticking time bombs. Realistically, if you can't gobble it up within nine months to a year, it's best to reconsider. No one wants a sandwich with rancid peanut butter spread. And now, the moment of controversy, number eight. Deep breaths, everyone. Yes, I'm going there. Cereals. Those lovely boxes that promise a quick, tasty start to your mornings. Maybe not the best for the long haul, especially the sugary ones. Over time, they can morph into a sticky, unappetizing mess. And that's not even getting into the potential pest party they might invite. But the biggest letdown? When you pour a bowl expecting a delightful crunch and are met with a mouthful of blah. No one, and I mean no one, wants to greet their day with disappointing cereal. I know, I know, some of these might be heartbreaking, but it's all for the greater good. Let's be smart with our storage choices so we can enjoy every bite, every time. 9. Brown rice. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brown rice is healthy, it's wholesome, surely it's perfect for long-term storage. Well, not quite. Unlike its cousin, white rice, which can happily sit in storage for years if kept correctly, brown rice is a bit high maintenance. Thanks to its higher oil content, coming from the bran that's left on the rice, brown rice is more prone to turning rancid. While it's a fantastic option for daily consumption thanks to its nutritional profile for long-term stashing, you might want to favor white rice. 10. Dried fruits. Now don't get me wrong, dried fruits are like nature's candy sweet, chewy, and oh so delicious. Not to mention they're often loaded with nutrients. But, and you knew there was a but coming, when it comes to shelf life, they can be a tad unpredictable. Unlike other dried goods, they have a shorter span of peak edibility. Depending on the fruit in question and how it was dried, you're looking at about six months to a year. After that, you might notice they've lost their zesty flavor, turned rock hard, or even sport some mold. Quite the letdown when you're looking forward to that sweet treat. At number 11, we have canned tomatoes. A bit surprising, right? Generally, canned goods are champions when it comes to longevity. But tomatoes, those delicious red delights, have a catch. They are naturally acidic, and that acidity can start playing foul with the inner lining of the can over time. The result? You might end up with a tomato sauce or soup that has an unwelcome metallic twang. So while it might be tempting to stack up on them, it's wise to remember that their optimal tasting window is about 12, 18 months. Rounding off our list at number 12, we've got those bottled wonders. Packaged salad dressings. They might promise to turn any salad into a gourmet experience, but they have a shelf life secret, especially the creamy ones. Over time, even if they're unopened, they can start behaving oddly. They might separate, looking all sorts of weird or even become rancid. The consequence? Well, beyond the obvious taste disaster, they could pose health risks. Always a downer when all you want is a refreshing salad. There you have it, folks. Our list of 12 foods that might not be the heroes you were hoping for when it comes to long-term storage. It's all about knowledge, preparation, and making the smartest choices for your family's needs. Remember, planning is essential, but so is being informed. And speaking of being informed, if you found this video helpful and enlightening, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. It helps us out more than you know. If you have any experiences, suggestions, or just want to share your thoughts on the topic, drop a comment below. We always love to hear from our viewers. Now, the most important part. If you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button and become a part of our Finance Daily family. We're here to guide you with all sorts of valuable information on a range of topics. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on what we have in store. Lastly, a big thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. We appreciate every single one of you, and we're always striving to bring the best content to our channel. Until next time, stay smart, stay safe, and keep prepping.